Hi, Water Signs. This is your check in for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, all placements, whether it's your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign, whatever it is. Um, you might be checking Saturn as well. Um, but for those, I like to go into the astrological houses unless I say, please do check for this, um, your X sign in these readings. Like I did for February and March reading, I did mention about Saturn because there was movements there. You'll find the other elements up as well for you to check your other signs. And let's dive in and see what comes through for you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Six of Cups. Um, now with this, this could be a soulmate energy, but it could also be that you're feeling a bit nostalgic. You're probably looking at the past a little bit. Um, could it be that a past person has come up? We need to pull more cards. But there is a change here as well. And I feel there's an emotional shift to the Emperor. Four of Wands. So the Emperor is Aries. And we're heading into Aries season now. Yeah, we're in Aries. We just got into Aries season. So it's telling me that this is really important. There's a shift for you in airy season and the shift is going to be around what you found difficult to stabilize union happiness your stability whatever's made you feel off stable this this season is going to make you bring you back into balance i feel there's going to be big changes in your lives six of pentacles we've got the six of cups and the six of pentacles uh, I feel like you, you're you growing and coming out of a rebirth and a cocoon phase. I felt re, a rebirth and a cocoon phase. Was it for Scorpio's reading um, recently? Now, there is definitely with the four of wands, like I said, a balance around whatever you felt is imbalanced. And for many of you, I feel it's to do with some of you is to do with your emotions and outlook and life, but this is about financial balance, wealth and abundance that's coming in to make you feel more stable. Um, this could also be about a union that's going to help you feel more stable, but I can't get over this emperor. I keep going back to it. I feel like it's also you coming into this sort of leadership kind of I don't want to mean uh, an emperor can be a, a male or female, but like owning your confidence and power and airy season is going to help you feel that way. Um, an increase in money is coming in, the queen of cups. So an increase in money and um, you may be having some realizations and getting answers during sort of meditation or you, you might get the answers during airy season or recently. Um, in downtime and um, I, I'm getting that it's bliss, it's feel good, um, it's having all the good vibes. Here is the nine of wands, you're attaining it, you're attaining what you've been working on. Um, the relationship, the career, the money, the prosperity, I feel like they're all coming in for you. One second, I like to look at the, sometimes the cards on the other decks. Um, to see if I can I don't know why the reason I was pulling it up because with this it's kind of like you've been putting the hard work in and there's hope and there's resilience here that you've had to stay strong but for once I can't help notice the um the small plants or you know there's a word for little things that come out like that they're not plants are they little sprouts or something um i can't get the word but you know the little leaves that are coming that's like a rebirth that's how airy season is this is beautiful it's kind of like all line and it's kind of like that is your hope it's showing there's a change it's not just wood sticks there is things coming out. There's a rebirth here coming for you. It's showing you the sign of life and balance coming in for you. Blessings that I feel are blessings 
in more than one direction for you. Now, if some of you don't have any um, health issues, dance like nobody's watching. And if you're able to dance and you've got health issues, where you're able to dance, dance like nobody's watching. Because look, you're moving away from the Eight of Cups here. No longer serving me. I'm not turning my back. You've got the moon and the sun here in duality. Okay. I wonder if the moon is going to be significant for you as well. The Nine of Cups. Someone who's moved from the Eight of Cups, moved away and finally recognises their worth and is in pouring into themselves and not only into other people. The Nine of Cups is very much somebody who's finally kind of happy in themselves. Somebody who is glowing, and if you're not able to see it in yourself yet, it's on its way. Um, your path seems to be cleared. Look at this, some time out if you need to, rest, recruit, um, but be mindful of your next few steps with your path being cleared. You may find money or a missing item or a favorite piece of, I don't know, your clothing or laundry that you, you forgot. Why am I getting that? There's something that you might have felt you lost um, that is coming in, but there's a new adventure here. But I just want to clarify the Four of Swords. Um, I do feel like it's about Rest when you need to, but I feel it's like if you slip back into negative thinking or not into alignment, take a step back and rest and let's see what the clarification is. Yeah, it's to do with your mindset. Um, and when you're feeling that you're slipping back into this, take some time out and reset. Um, and five of swords so we've got the four of swords the five of swords here there's some sort of argument um and that could be people dragging you down yeah wheel of fortune new beginnings are coming in cycles are closing people that are not aligned with you arguments drama they're going you're where you're feeling like these people could be holding you back whether it's your own mental plane whether it's people around you intentionally or in, unintentionally causing drama cycles are closing out so new beginnings can can come in stability can come in a glow for you is coming in you're reflecting i'd say reflect on what you've accomplished whether that's for example some of you if you've had like a, a, a health concern that you've overcome or an injury it could be from exercising, it could be from anything. How far have you come? You've come over that. You're now in recovery. How far have you come if you've been betrayed by someone or left isolated? How far have you come if you um, have been in a negative mindset yourself? Yes, it's you. Maybe you've been victimizing yourself with your mindset, but you're coming out of it. So reflecting on what you've accomplished, Maybe you've stuck out at a job that's been very difficult this year, but in some way, you know, deep down, you want to stick to it because it gives you recognition. Maybe you've taken a new cycle. Maybe you've moved environments. Um, and feel excited for these opportunities that are coming in for you. Because um, I feel like you'll be in your feelings joy happiness and gratefulness is coming in for you um, and the universe will continue to bless you with love and peace this is completed one more card the hierophant with the hierophant i really feel like some of you if you've been in some kind of court contract uh, court was coming out there is a completion here and i believe there's a balance you might not be able to see the outcomes and stuff, but there is a justified balance coming in for you. And there is a win for you, whether this is to do with anything in your life. Um, it could also be some of you have been going through a tough, a tough divorce or um, exams for some people, um, marriage. There is a win coming here. There is the outcome you want. So not only in terms of abundance, but there is an outcome. With the moon, the clarification I got was the seven of cups. So just be careful for what you wish for under the full moon. 
make sure it's tangible and it's not kind of um, I wish for this and you're not really focusing on what you're actually saying wishing for because it's likely to come into your reality so just be careful on what you're actually wishing for there but this is beautiful uh, water signs you know um, there's a there's a glow coming in for you I think there's a lot of heartbreak that's going to be ending and as I say that heartbreak I'm flicking through the cards death Scorpio you're turning up in the reading cancer you're in the reading there's a there's a closing out of the cycle and I feel it strongly in this airy season there's a big shift for you and the new cycle comes uh, it comes in with the wheel of fortune interestingly fire signs got this as well so it's really it's 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 great to see it's not a surprise to see but it's not like it should be common to see because we're closing out hopefully a year and starting a new astrological year with Aries season, which tells me that you guys of water signs are, are doing the same. Um, and you're actually aligning with the new energies of new things coming in for you. So if you enjoyed your reading, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, please do give this a like, give it a thumbs up. You may wish to subscribe so you get notified of everything I put up every day, every two days, and all your readings, shorts and contents, which are reading. Sometimes there's different stuff I've just done about Aries season. Um, the astrological week will be up or is up, so have a look at that. And I'll see you in our next readings. If you want any of the services I provide, check the description box for my email, web website, or leave a comment and we'll be able to set that up. Have a lovely day.